sent not his son into the world to condemn the world that if the truth be told your first sin should have cut you off from the face of God your first sin should have condemned you to a fiery grave in hell but God said I'm not letting you go out like that I'm going to restore you back to the place I want you to be and somebody in the building today ought to get real happy that God knows how to restore you when other folk kick you to the curb when other folk give up on you when other folks say you're not meant for any good when other folks say you're worthless and useless even when the government shuts down and folk are without jobs all over the country God says I'm able to restore you I'm able to make sure you don't look like what you've been through I'm able to put a smile back on your face and let you know that trouble don't last always if there was anybody in here who was real testimony they'd be able to open up their mouths and say I don't look like what I've been through I don't look like all the mess I've made all the mistakes I've made all the drama I've caused but some kind of way God covered me and then restored me he began to work on me so that my hands look new and my feet look new is there anybody in the building who can testify that he's restored my very life Psalm 23 says he restores my soul he keeps me alive when the enemy is trying to take me out he keeps me alive when the devil thought it was all over for me that's why I'm able to look at my enemies and say like Joseph you meant it for evil but God meant it for my good is there anybody in here who can testify he restored me when my life was almost over he restored me when I was depressed and didn't want to go on any longer he restored me when folk walked out on me he restored me look at me I'm a testimony that God will restore your life God will restore your peace God will restore your joy won't he do it say yeah